Hello, I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch, and for the latest in my series of frozen microwave roast dinner meals, I'm doing this one. Ah, Bisto, roast beef dinner, £2.85 from Asda. And yes, as usual in this series, I'm microwaving everything. I'm not air frying anything, I'm not ovening anything, so please don't say... It'll be better. It'll be better in the oven or the air fryer, because I won't do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> right, beef dinner with sliced beef, roast potatoes, peas, carrots, and a Yorkshire pudding in a rich gravy with Bisto gravy. And traffic light system, three greens and an amber for the salt. Right, where's the? Thing? There we go. Percentages are 38% gravy. The rice potatoes make up 25%. The beef is 12%. The peas 11%. Carrot, carrots 9%. And Yorkshire pudding 3.8%. Right. I suppose you want to have a look at it, don't you? There it is. It all looks... Uh, frozen glory right I've got high expectations for the gravy in this one anyway because as most of you will know Bisto gravy is excellent it's it's the, it's the gravy isn't it it's just so good so I'm hoping this gravy will be good even if the rest of it is a load of rubbish <laughs> but we'll find out soon so the next time you see this it will be, be, it will be on this. Right, there it is. Quite a lot of veg, quite a lot of meat actually, although the meat was very thin, there's, uh, I think there's four slices, but it was a bit difficult to tell because it was like falling apart as I was uh, putting it on the plate. But I think there's four slices of beef there. I think there is. There we go. Right. Smells really good. Really does. I'd better leave the oven gloves on, haven't I? Because it is rather warm. Right. Yeah, as I said, it smells... Well, it smells like Bisto gravy. So... If I can get some of the gravy on its own, well, I don't think I can. I think it'll have to. I'll have to have uh, some a few peas with it. I've got to try that first, haven't I? See if it tastes as good as Bisto gravy should. Yeah, that is proper Bisto gravy. Exactly the same as you would get your gravy gravy granules in a tub. Tastes exactly the same. The peas were excellent. Let's try a carrot. Hmm. Oh, it's a really carroty carrot. That's lovely. Really, really good. I mean, I'm not expecting much from this tiny little Yorkshire pudding. I'll just pick it up and have a bite. Mmm. Huh. Actually, it has got a tiny bit of um, bit of taste. He said, uh, just looking for a bit of kitchen roll, but I haven't got a bit handy. Yeah, that... Yorkshire pudding did have a little bit of taste. Quite often in these sort of meals, it has no taste whatsoever. But that did. Not much, but a little bit. Right, there's one massive potato here. And that's the one I want to try. Because uh, we want to know if that's cooked through properly, don't we?
and it is. It tastes okay. I mean, it needs salt. It needs salt and pepper, to be honest. There's no seasoning on there at all. But um, have some gravy with it, and I'll try the beef. Yeah, once I put some salt on those potatoes, they'll be absolutely fine. Now, can I break this um, with my fork? Probably not. I'm going to have to put this down a second. Just to cut a bit of that beef off. So I can try it. Here we go. Sorry about that. Here we go. Right. Very thin, but very tasty. Right, another little potato. I'm going to try a bit of everything all together now. I'm quite impressed with this so far. Mmm. Hmm. A bit of the fibre of the um, meat caught in my tooth there. That is really nice. That really is. Yes, you can do with a little bit more meat and a little bit thicker meat, but what is there? I mean, what is there? There's nothing wrong with it. The potatoes need a bit of salt. In fact, I've got my salt here. So I'm just going to give them a little sprinkle. But apart from that, I can't find much wrong with that. Now last week I tried the, the Kershaws, didn't I? And I said that was the best so far. So far? So far? So far. Is this better than the Kershaws? In my opinion, yes. Simply because of that gravy. I mean, the Kershaws gravy was good, but this is Bisto gravy. The potatoes are really... Well, I've said it all really, haven't I? You've heard what I had to say about it, so I'm not going to repeat myself. But I think that's the best so far. I really do. And now I've put some salt on those spuds. I'm going to enjoy that. I really am. So, I'm glad it lived up to my expectations. This though roast, roast dinner, £2.85. It is a bit cheaper in Morrison's at the moment, but Morrison's didn't have it. They only had the chicken one, and I wanted to try the beef one. But, uh, yeah, I'll go and enjoy the rest of that before it cools down too much. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts. But please don't let me know your... Th please don't let me know your thoughts about cooking it in the oven or, my, or air frying it. Because, yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, to, look, don't forget to hit the like button. I'm going to eat it. See you in the next video. I better take my knife and fork, hadn't I? That would help. <laughs>